So when you're pruning your milkweed like I just did, I cut off all of the, I actually cut off all the seed pods and all of the dead things going on because it just looked really bad. And so when I say pruning it like you do a rose bush, you see this right here, is I, I cut off that tip right where, oh boy, right where that new growth is happening, right above where that new growth is coming out of that stem. And so you're going to have a lot of new growth and there won't be so much energy from the plant going to the seed pods, which I don't want. There's a lot of milkweed seeds flying around. So I left some of the flowers, but I pruned off all of the, just the seed pods and pruning it above the knuckle on the branch. Um, let me see if I can get another one here to show you. So see on this one right here, there's new growth coming out and I just trimmed off the top. I think that's how to keep your milkweed healthy is doing that this time of year. So, And this one's been pretty healthy so far. So just so you know, it's probably a good idea to prune your milkweed this time of year.